What's going on guys, my name is Trinket and welcome back to Duelist. Now today, uh, we're doing a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna kind of fill you in on the background of why we're doing it. Uh, basically, uh, the new season uh, changed a few cards. Uh, I'm not gonna go over those. Uh, they're in the patch notes, which I will link in the description. Uh, but the big uh, thing for me was this new epic minion, Araki Headhunter, which uh, basically whenever you summon a minion with opening gambit, it gains plus two attack. Um, which for two mana, one to three is pretty good, I think. And then a lot of people have thought of building a Mechazor deck. Uh, I should probably change that to a zero, but I'm not going to, because each of these uh, Mechazor minions has opening gambit on it. Um, and Mechazor, realistically, if you get it out fast, it's quite strong, it's not as good later on in the game, and it doesn't do very well to Vanar anymore with the card change. Basically, Magmar had a card that instead of dispelling a minion would dispel a space, now Vanar has that card instead. Um, so that's why it's not very good against Vanar. It used to not be very good against Magmar, but no, not very good against Vanar. Even though I still don't think many people play Vanar. I don't think their cards are quite strong enough, but we'll see. Um, but basically, I filled the deck up with some of the more useful opening Gambit minions, and then the rest is literally card draw. Um, notable thing I could have included, I could have included Ether Master which lets you replace an additional card each turn. I would have included it, but I didn't have any space, basically. Um, I could take out the Inner Aces. In fact, I probably should. But I will do that. Throw one of those in there. Uh, it's probably okay to just have one. Um, but it's an experiment. Uh, we're going to change it as time goes on. I don't think it's going to do particularly well, but whatever. It's It's fun. It's not fun to play against, but it's fun for me. So we're gonna give it a go. Well, okay, straight into game. Um, against Vitruvian, it's kind of okay. They don't have much hard removal. This is a pretty good starting hand. Um, this into this is pretty good. I don't quite think I need this yet. Unless I keep it and draw into a full hand straight away, which could be good, but uh, I'll keep it for now. Right, so, first turn, I'm um, just going to play that up there. The only problem is, now he knows I'm a Mechazord deck, uh, which means he's probably going to start to play a little bit differently. That's one of the effects. Uh, Mechazor tends to have on people, it suddenly becomes, I've got to beat him before Mechazor gets on the field, which could be hard to do, uh, but not always. Um, basically, if he manages to defeat you before Mechazor gets on the field, you just lose. I'm going to move this up here, uh, play this. Probably get rid of one of these, see if I can get a Mechazor. Nope, well, draw two cards then. And I'll probably start to chip away at this. Okay, so we got kind of unlucky. We only drew one Mechazor right off the bat. Uh, that's probably going to be the theme for this deck. It's pretty much draw Mechazor or the Headhunter or just lose. Um, it's very much so an all-in deck, which means it won't do very well later on in the season and when climbing ladder, but who the hell cares? Uh, I don't... I'm not too fussed about my position in ladder. If I want to climb higher, then I will do uh, with a more serious deck at some point. It's also, if you've never seen Mechas well, basically killing these doesn't make a difference to his progress or not. Right, like, you don't have to have five of them on the field at once. Uh, once it's summoned, the 20% is tallied up. That, however, is a tiny bit annoying. But not the end of the world. Right, I can discard two cards this turn. Uh, so I will do that first. I will probably... I'd like to play this, and I'd like to play it where I am now. 
but obviously with this provoke minion being here, I can't move. Which is unfortunate. Uh, I also can't kill it, which is a little bit annoying, but I can move it away quite easily. Uh, okay, so right, let's get rid of... Uh, I could actually play it here. But then that still doesn't do enough, and it uses all my mana. Let's get rid of one of these. There's a Mechazor, but I don't really want to play that, since I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing this. Ah. Uh... Hmm. I think for now... We move this to here. Like that, and then we hope he moves it here, so that we can bone swarm it next turn. Ah, and then I will get rid of this. Ah, well, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Ooh, that's good. So, next turn I have this, this, and this. It's not so good anymore. It was okay. Hopefully he moves the pulverizer here, would be good. Or here, or even here. Anyway, it's fine, just not here. Maybe we don't bone swarm though, I'm not really sure yet. Because if we bone swarm, we can't actually kill it. But we'll see. And now he's moved, which makes things more awkward. Oh, well. Bone swarming now is probably okay. Especially if you play something here. Eh, well, no. Okay, that's awkward. I can't deal with that. Wow, I really can't deal with that now. Um. I guess, again, I'd really like to move here. What are we getting rid of? Probably this. Um, this is quite a weak turn. But that's a really weak turn, so I don't really want to do that. The only problem is it doesn't really make a difference. Hmm. Um, right. Let's do this. This. Move out the way. Hit. Okay. That's pretty good. Then we have six mana this turn, so we... C uh, next turn, so we can do this. This and one of these. Probably this one. Probably a little bit better. But we'll see. Trying to keep this out of range is important. Um, keeping this, trying to stay three squares away from this as well is quite good. I mean, he can hit this, but only for four. So it's not the end of the world. The next turn I'll play is quite strong, so. Also, I will probably play this one instead, because it has a bit more flexibility. This in general, by the way, is actually quite a good card. Uh, three mana, three, three with Frenzy is pretty good. Although I would quite like to draw the uh, wings now. Wings and this would be good. Starting to play a bit more aggressive, which makes me wonder what cards he has. Although, the fact he's moved there is good for me. Uh, it actually looks like my turn is going to be... Okay, this is good. So, next turn... Hmm. It might be an idea to play... one of these now. So that I can actually... summon Mechazor next turn. 
I could even play two of them. And they're both 2 2, so it's not like they're weak minions. You know, I could go 1, 2. I am quite close to dying, so. I think it's quite important that I get him out soon. I've now forgotten the progress I'm on. I think I'm on four, possibly three. Man, uh, noted I haven't. I didn't use the headhunter last turn. I probably could have. It would have become a. Well, it would have only been a two-three actually, which for two mana isn't great. It's okay, but sorry, it would be a three-three, which is actually quite good. Okay, um... I am dead to Star's Fury. I think, pretty much. Moving that away is okay. Not the end of the world. Drawing two cards makes me think he hasn't got much else to do. Okay, that's fine. I am low. But, it's no biggie. In fact, I'm... one off death, so... I have to be quite careful with my next turn. Oh, he didn't attack with this. Interesting. I wonder if I just lose. Well, I do notably need to play quite carefully. Okay. Well, I do need to play another one, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to have to trade both of these. Uh, we will play him. Actually think we're going to play him right here. Um, a lot of people notably use the airdrop and like put him in a corner, but he does have Frenzy, so... And he can't be targeted by spells, so it's not like it's going to get... Entropic Decayed or whatever, that's not going to happen. So, I just have to be careful, he probably has a spell that can kill me, maybe the Blast um, Artifact, possibly. I, I'm pretty much guaranteed dead, probably. Um, otherwise you'd think he would have attacked with the um, Repulsor Beast last turn, but he didn't. Or maybe he just didn't want it to die. That could also be a reason. But right now, I'd like to think he's in a tough spot. Or maybe he's not, I don't know. Maybe he has a rush minion. Although, if he had a rush minion, I think he'd be pretty quick to play it. But maybe he doesn't have... Maybe he does. I wouldn't be surprised. Saber Spine Tiger is quite common, so... I wouldn't be surprised if I died here. Hmm. No, that's uh, Bright Moss Golem. Played that, I suppose it doesn't die to Mechazor. Though I shouldn't be playing things around Mechazor, that's for sure. Especially something like that, that has less attack. That was, you should not... Okay, if you're ever dealing with a minion with Frenzy, don't surround it in minions. That's really dumb. Especially one that has one attack. Because now I don't take any penalty at all. From that. Do I win? I just need to check. There is a chance I do. Eight. And uh, yeah, I do. I win. So you hit this. It does eight to everything. And then you hit, and then he's ranged. So you hit. There we go. If he wants to hit. There we go. Okay. So that was kind of a close game with some free health. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so... When Mechazor suddenly goes onto the field, I think it forces a lot of people to play differently. Uh, even when you're against a Mechazor deck, it kind of feels like you have to play a little bit quicker. I think I've already said that, but whatever. Um, Bissian... Uh, it could lose quite badly to a Bissian. I'm gonna... Whoa! Network error? Oh no! I haven't lost Wi-Fi, you're lying to me. 
Actually, I don't know. I can't see my Wi-Fi. No, um, you're lying to me. Oh, well, rip. Okay, we're back. I figured it out. It's all good. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, this hand's really good. Let's, uh, let's keep this hand. That's kind of a perfect hand, really. Uh, could possibly be in for a bad time. Especially, Magmar did get quite severely nerfed in the patch notes, not minions wise, uh, the Silivars and the Rebirth mechanic is still quite strong, um, but some of their key cards did get nerfed a little bit, not like severely, but it's noticeable. Also, wow, this is the dream. Like, oh, wait, oh no. <laughs> Damn it, my dream! <laughs> oh well, whatever. Wait, how many minions can I summon this turn? I feel like I can summon a lot of minions this turn. Or it would be, maybe it would be better to control this. Like, I could summon... I could summon three. I can summon three anyway. But I could go one, two, three. If I moved here, spawned something here. Am I worried about him buffing something? Probably not. Eh, screw it, let's go for it. One. Two. Three. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. I can summon Mechazor next turn. With these two. So I hope he enjoys dealing with that. Especially when he doesn't have his, uh... This uh, notably, he does still have natural selection, um, so if Mechazor- Oh no, wait, you can't get targeted- No, never mind, Mechazor can't get targeted by natural selection, so... We're all good in that regard. Why did that die? Why did he kill that? What? That doesn't make any sense. Well... I mean, okay. Uh, I would've killed this. Right, one... Two... Um... For this situation, uh, because it's early on in the game, and because I already have a Frenzy Minion down here, I'm actually going to spawn Mechazor up here. So there it is. I uh, hope he enjoys dealing with that. Right, let's just hit all those. That survives. Move you there. Move you there. Uh, do we hit this? Yes, because it gets rid of the buff. Yeah, there we go. And we have Mechazor on the field, so we're chilling. We're chilling. Ugh. Oh, wow. That tech crossbones. Oh, Mechazor just got destroyed. Oh, dear. Wow, that's bad. I mean, it's not, like, terrible. I think the deck is still, like, slightly functional. To an extent. So we should be okay, but... Wow, crossbones. Crossbones. That is the first crossbones I've ever seen. We're kind of getting destroyed right now. That's okay. We should be fine. I believe we'll be fine. I don't even know if you can summon more than one Mechazor, I think you can. It could be wrong though. But I think the deck still partly functions with this, so... Do I play this? Yeah, probably. That'll do. And then we can go... 2, 5... Probably. Or even 2, 7, depending on what he plays. But if he plays a 3 health minion, then... No, oh, yep, like that. And 2-7 is probably slightly better. Do one damage... Hmm. It'd be nice if we could reach that. But we can't, which is a little bit annoying. Oh no, we can, actually. So... I will go 
play this here. I'm going to take a little bit of damage, but it's not like the end of the world. Play this here, and I'm going to kill this instead. Um, this, this will get killed by that, but, you know, it's, again, not the end of the world. Get rid of these, we don't really need these now. Like, if he kills this, that's fine, because I still have a 3-1 and a 4-6 on the field. And I still have one more of these in the deck, so... It's not like that's the end of the world. What would suck is if he had the uh, card that gives it Frenzy. That'd be a shame. Okay, so I think next turn is probably just Jax. I imagine, I mean, you can probably deal with it quite easily. Uh, let's see if we can get a 2-drop or something. That's not a 2-drop, but whatever. Go. Imagine he has the card that destroys everything with 3 or less attack. Hmm. Well... That did absolutely nothing. I'm not even sure that damaged me. I'm pretty sure it has to be like active mana tiles, doesn't it? I could be. Oh, well, there you go. Could be wrong. Crossbones. Wow. I was not expecting crossbones. Maybe everyone's running that now. Maybe that's a thing. Oh well, we'll do one more game. Uh, this video is running kind of long, I think, but whatever. One more game. Oh, the best scene again. Please don't be running crossbones. Crossbones? Oh my god, this hand is not very good. This is notably a good card, though. I just think in general this card's quite good, so... Like, if it came up in Gauntlet, I'd pick it. Although it is against other rare cards. But, yeah, I'd pick it. Mm, nice. Uh, well, now I have a. Now I kind of have a choice. I think I'd rather spawn this one. Eh. No. It doesn't bother me too much. If uh, one of them dies. Especially if it trades for both of these, then that's fine. He kind of has to kill it. If he doesn't, that's a... Wow. I feel like that's a really big mistake. Unless he has a way of dealing one damage. Which he might. Maybe. Or a taunt. No, he wouldn't just... He wouldn't do that without a taunt, would he? That doesn't make much sense. Wow. Really? No one damage. So... So you're going to let me kill all of these. Okay. Uh, wait. Four drop. Ah, eh, that's good too. Uh, in fact, that's pretty good. It doesn't matter which one I play this into. Oh, no, don't want to do that. We'll go one, two. Uh, next turn, one, two, probably, or possibly one, two. And then next turn is Jack, so we kind of curved out quite nicely. Hit this, is the theory. Yep. Ooh. Wait, no, that doesn't matter. Actually, it kind of does. It means I do need to draw a... Uh, another battle cry. It's not a 
battle cry. And I just called it a battle cry, yes, I'm aware of that. Yeah, I suppose I can kill it, so it's not the end of the world. Well, there's the minion I would have needed. Uh, how many minions have I played? Oh, oh, it tells you. Okay, three. That's fun. So I can do it next time. And that actually, this actually becomes a 7-3, which is pretty good. Unless he has the, uh... Uh, Night Sorrow Assassin, I think that's what it's called. I'm still trying to learn the names of all of these mechs. I think I'm getting there. Uh, wow, I just, I, that kind of completely missed me. Wow, that's pretty strong. Uh, notably not the end of the world though. I mean, it only does four damage. So we'll go... One. Uh, I guess two. And then spawn him over here. And then we'll even play this, because why and then, now that we have Mechazor on the field, we can play a little bit more aggressive. He's got to try and deal with it, otherwise he's taking 8 damage each turn. Uh, unless he has Crossbones. Crossbones? I didn't think Crossbones was a common thing. Uh-oh. Can't target that. You can target the space. Um, I'm trying to think of Abyssing cards. It could be, um, no, that costs 7 mana. Oh, well, there we go. Concede. <laughs> uh, oh dear, okay, whatever um, Well, again, this was just kind of an experiment uh, I don't recommend trying to use it to climb up ladder yet Until it's been, like, tested by professionals, if you like um, But I had a lot of fun playing it And you'll probably have a lot of fun playing it as well It's, you know, it's fairly cheap to make the, the epic... Uh, this one, if you got to silver rank last season, you get one automatically, and then you can craft two more. If you can't craft two more, it's not the end of the world. Uh, the rest of it, pretty much every card in this deck is common. That's a legendary, but I got given it. Maybe everyone gets given it, I don't really know. Um, other than that, they're pretty much all commons and rares. This, is, again, is uh, not a key factor. Neither, uh, this kind of is. Either Master's uh, in a, like a proper, in the old Mechazor deck, this was a staple card, and I think it's actually the staple in a lot of different decks, so, uh, maybe consider crafting those. Uh, other than that, uh, thank you all so much for watching, uh, if you like the video, let me know in the comments down below, if you want to see more experimental type decks, you know, there are loads of decks in these games that you think, that might work, uh, but no one's ever tried it, um, People have tried this already, but I wanted to do it for myself. Um, and if there's any other types of decks like that, let me know. Uh, I will have a look at them, if I can craft them. If not, sorry. Um, but other than that, once again, thank you all for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye.